I've gone through and now changed the upper cam design to a single cam instead of the dual cams and I think this works a lot better than the previous one. Other than that, the only other big major difference is that I converted everything over to use the metric M5 bolts versus the other ones. This just makes everything a little more uniform and a little nicer looking. The profile shape for the twist cam is not mathematically accurate. I'll have to do some research and figure out how you can calculate that, but I think this will work for now. If you know how to calculate the cam shape, let me know in a comment because I've been searching around but I haven't been able to find an easy way how to calculate that. This new twist assembly still had a little bit of intersection issues with the sides so I've changed the side shape a little bit and I've kind of pushed them down a little bit. Overall I like this design but I think I'm going to change some of it. I like the single cam design for the twist and I think what I'll do is change the other two cams and make them single cam as well. Uh, this will reduce the amount of bearings, make the whole thing cheaper and the single cam design allows you to do things like tension the springs and this is something that's missing in this design. For the four electromagnetic coils on the bottom, I'm not particularly happy with how that is. I don't I don't think that this is going to work out in the end. So I'm looking at changing this all together because the coil's strength is going to be non-linear and they're going to pull a lot more when they're closer up. I think what's going to happen is it's going to take a ton of energy to pull them a little bit, but once they start moving in a direction, they're going to just get pulled very hard. I think there's going to be issues with controlling that with this current design. So I'm looking at methods of trying to make this more of a linear kind of motion, and I think that is the direction that I'll go in. One new method I might try for force feedback is using brushless DC motors. Many of them are used in brushless gimbals for camera equipment, and some of them also have Hall effect sensors in them, and I think these might work out perfectly for this purpose. They would have to have enough torque because I would connect them as direct drive, and then that way they could react quick enough to any kind of feedback. I don't think anybody's tried using brushless DC motors for force feedback, so let me know if you think this would work or not.